Look at how pretty Viola looks tonight. Pialion, your your hair is different. Yeah, before you had it curly. And and she's wearing her Hawaiian outfit. When she goes to Australia, she's gonna go to the Fiji Islands and do her hula dance. You take a radio, okay, right? Well, Viola just told me that people come to this restaurant just for this soup. So look at that. I thought it was eggs. No. But she said it's chicken. Just the chicken. It's delicious. I tried it. It's, yeah, let me. Uh, Okay, here we go. Oh, okay, thank you. See that beautiful goodness. Mm. Very, very creamy, right? Very creamy. Chunks of chicken. Much better than chicken noodle soup. Jesse. That's the pork right there. I meant to show these string beans on how this works. Well, I don't want to inconvenience you, Viola. See, you, I don't know what these are called. Oh, oops. Oh, oh. Like you, you, you. It's a challenge. Well, now I have a method to it. I squeeze it out the side, see? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I'm an expert. <laughs> Thumbs up. So Chinese cabbage, and then this is the pork, and beef with uh, broccoli. Shi Lan Hua, her Nero. Awesome. And I finished my chicken soup. Which was fantastic. Yeah, the broccoli is very nice. So I, I only was explaining. Yeah. When you go out to a restaurant in China and people drink. People smoke, people have a good time. They like to make a lot of noise. They like to shout at each other, scream at each other. Right, Viola? They're probably challenging each other to shots right now. Yeah, this is part of the best part of Chinese culture right here. Yeah, Chinese culture. They're, like I told you, they're noct Chinese people are nocturnal creatures. They work very hard all day, and when they come out at night, they let loose. They like to drink, they like to eat, they like to party. Yeah, they like party night because dinner, have dinner, and they have next day. Well, I ate about as much as I could. And I am full. Oh, if you put a gun to my head, I might be able to eat more. But I am more shufu. I'm comfortable. Shufu. If I ate anything more, I'd be uncomfortable. Shufu is comfortable. Look at these guys. You know, on this trip, I've noticed um, more more women smoking now. In the in the nuts, right? 
No, right over here. Over here? Yeah, there's two women are smoking yeah. cigarettes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I notice a lot more tattoos now. Tattoos? A lot of tattoos. All over China now. Beijing, Harbin, everywhere. Ningbo, everywhere. But I think foreigners do have much more tattoos than Chinese. What I'm trying to say is five years ago, I, I would never see women smoking. And I would never see women with tattoos. Now they're everywhere. Well, that's one way to look at it. That's not how I look at it, but that's one way. But if you do not like cigarette smoke, you probably will die in this restaurant. Because it's all cigarette smoke. <laughs> They all smoke. Yeah, Vi Viola brings her oxygen mask. I should check the mask every day. Yeah. You see, I'm in China right now, but if I was in America, I would take Viola's phone and I'd put it in a bucket of water. If I was in Meiguo, I would take your phone and put it in a bucket of water. Right, because it yeah it would destroy it.